Hey beautiful people and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. Today I'm going to show you three ways you can use a GoPro Hero 7 for vlogging as well as the associated cost. Alright, welcome back. So lately I've been into my Moto vlogging and uh, I've been using old school technology like my GoPro Hero 3 Plus as well as my GoPro Hero Session which isn't bad. I'm actually using it here to record uh, how I'm going to put this thing together. But I've decided to buy a newer camera because I wanted the best video captured out there for you. I have a Canon EOS T7i that I use for vlogging. It's a DSLR camera. I have a, a tripod with it, a microphone, things like that, and it's getting kind of big and huge. And I decided that I'm going to use a GoPro Hero 7 to be my motor vlogging camera. And then when I'm out and about, and if I wanted to vlog, then I'll just take it off and do a setup. And I'm going to show you what that is. So the first thing that uh, that you can do is probably just use your GoPro Hero 7 by itself to vlog. I heard that uh, the, the the microphones on these things are really really good and we all know the GoPro already captures some really good videos so that's not a problem as well as the voice. So if you're close to your GoPro like this it probably wouldn't be bad. You have certain views in here like a wide medium linear or sometimes you get uh, you can access the super view as well and you can see everything around you so that's one way the second way so by the way this GoPro Hero 7 right here cost me about two hundred sixty nine dollars some change so I'll just run it up to 270 bucks so for 270 bucks plus a twenty dollar micro USB card that goes in here uh, I believe I have the 128 gigs with a 100 megabit per second writing capability for 4k that's about 300 bucks which isn't bad at all so and you can use this obviously for motor vlogging as well as your vlogging if that's what you want to do just this one so that's 300 bucks so the next setup GoPro Hero 7 buying it uh, with its own case like this one right here and you can use the case just as is if you wanted to I'm gonna put this back in the case real quick and add on a stand or a GoPro stick and you can purchase aftermarket GoPro sticks anywhere Bit from the price of ten dollars all the way to hundreds of dollars, but I already have a GoPro stick that I've purchased before, and this I purchased for about thirty bucks, I think. And uh, you can literally just—I love this GoPro stick because it is such a uh, you know something small, foldable, but yet, um, and then I can carry it, and it's really good. Keeps for a stable vlogging if you know what I mean so this is the setup pretty much I don't know if you can see that but this is the setup so if you have a stick then you can use it for a more stable blogging also the bottom spreads out as legs so you can put it down and talk to it so that's another setup so 300 bucks plus around $15 so that's about $315 setup right here that you can carry with you anywhere and put it in your pocket small enough to keep it away and uh, not get stolen a lot smaller than my DSLR camera that's for sure so so that's the second setup the next setup if you wanted to have better audio you can purchase the GoPro audio 3.5 millimeter adapter and with the adapter, that'll cost you about $49. 
you also need a microphone so you can use a lapel mic like this one for vlogging purposes or you can buy uh, an expensive mic you know road mics things like that that you can hook up to the adapter but to be able to use your GoPro Hero 7 with an adapter you're gonna have to take off the the door that uh, uh, to access the USB connection connection I think it's a C type connection by removing the door just remember that you will now render your GoPro not waterproof obviously uh, so you can only use it for dry things like blogging in dry weather as and as well as uh, for me motor blogging I cannot go to, to the rain obviously so open the door you, you remove the door by just pulling it towards you pretty easy not gonna break it right and then what you want to do is put it back into the case this is the only case you have like this all right now you have the case you have your GoPro stick as well now if you wanted to add audio because you wanted a to control your audio better then you use a GoPro adapter 3.5 millimeter right there and you put it in here and then you can hook up any type of any type of headphones that has the TRRS TRS uh, TRS I believe in here and that should work this setup should work for you right with better audio or if you have a directional microphone then you can use that as well however now you're gonna have everything all dangling in there because you don't have I mean that's what you got right in a motorcycle we usually just put this on the side of the helmet and I'll show you that in another video but this video is about just the GoPro and the adapter itself or the audio adapter so with the audio adapter, with the GoPro, the disc, the grips, the adapter, and the headphones, you're around 350 bucks or a little bit more, probably 360, 370 dollars. So that is what is it going to cost you? But this is a compact vlogging system, and I love it. So to keep this clean and to clean all of this up. You can use a different case that's specifically made to hold this adapter underneath it and keep it clean. So with that being the case, I purchased a case from Ulanzi, right? From Ulanzi. This case right here, this case will be able to hold your audio adapter here as well as your GoPro all at the same time and you can use a microphone on top because it has a standard uh, shoe box or yeah shoe box something like that so $15 so now you're about almost 400 bucks and still have a clean setup in my opinion and versatile and you can use it anywhere so I'm gonna just put this in here I'm gonna show you how clean it can get after you use the Yulanzi V2 case. It's really nice and I love it. So while I'm taking this all apart, I'm just gonna let you know that I purchased everything with the exception of my GoPro Hero 7 from Amazon because Amazon that's the only access I have out here being overseas and it works really well this Yulanzi is an 
easy method very nice very tight very light doesn't add any more to the weight of the setup because it's made out of uh, light plastic so and you've probably seen you know this already online somewhere so I'm not gonna go over too much the details on how this is set up um, but I can tell you that it is much cleaner and I love it. This right here, this is the only way that it'll go in there nicely. So no way, uh, no, I mean, you just can't get away from it, but that's how it looks for now. And then I'm gonna add on my stick, my GoPro stick in this uh, setup. For 400, less than $400, you can have a nice vlogging or a versatile setup that you can use for vlogging as well as you can use for uh, moto vlog as well. So that's, I'm intending to use the same case for my moto vlogging because why not? That's the reason why I bought it. And the good thing about this audio adapter from GoPro, well, aside from it being expensive, $49, is that you can uh, also use an external power supply for additional additional uh, recording time, which is awesome, I think, if you're out and about. You know, my... Um, EOS T7i, great camera, great video, you know, video making, uh, whatever comes out of it is awesome. But it's much more expensive, much heavier, and if it gets damaged, then it's harder to, obviously, you know, it, to replace it and things like that. But this is how this thing looks like. And if you can see that there, my camera. All right. This is how this thing looks like. Much easier, much better than a bigger camera, and it'll probably create some really nice videos. And can't wait to make some vlogs with this this weekend, and I will do that. So for four hundred dollars, a little bit less maybe, you can have a setup like this of your own and will create some really good videos for the long, for a long time. I think it's worth buying. I am still going to use my Hero 3 Plus because I think uh, I have not tapped the potential of a video making with that camera as well as my GoPro Hero Session which I'm using to actually record this overhead here. So, hey, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and share my videos. If you're new to my channel, please support me by subscribing. That's it for today. I will talk to you again later.